now at some of the day's other news. Police have released new CCTV footage showing the last sighting of missing student nurse Awami Davis. It shows her at around half past 12 on the 7th of July on London Road in Croydon. Detectives say the 24-year-old was heading towards the Norbury area. The mayors of both London and Manchester have described the decision to cut train services between the two cities to just one an hour as a national outrage. Avanti West Coast announced a limited timetable due to what it called unofficial strike action by drivers, which the Aslef Union stringently denies. Former Arsenal defender Tony Adams is the latest celebrity to reveal he's taking to the floor in the new BBC series of Strictly Come Dancing. The 55-year-old ex-footballer will compete against singer Matt Goss and Paralympian Ellie Simmons. Next, a student who uses a wheelchair says that she's had to spend two years fighting to improve access at her university. Naomi Stunning goes to King's College London on the Strand. The university says it is making improvements it's been hard because the building's almost 200 years old. Nearly a million children aged between one and nine living in London are to be offered a dose of the polio vaccine. It's after the virus was detected in sewage samples in the capital. Manchester City footballer Benjamin Mendy has pleaded not guilty to another charge of rape. He appeared at Chester Crown Court earlier. The 28-year-old now denies eight counts of rape, one count of attempted rape and one of sexual assault. The UK is waiting to receive uh, around 100,000 doses of smallpox vaccine amid reports the country is set to run out. It follows last month's announcement that a vaccine would be offered to individuals at high risk of contracting monkeypox after a recent increase in cases. The UK Health Security said only 50,000 doses have been received so far because of supply issues. And the holiday firm Tui has revealed a £63 million loss following recent travel chaos at airports across the country. It says its customers were affected by around 200 cancelled flights in May and June, particularly due to problems at Manchester Airport.